I was listening again to a number of different uh, sermons from Erwin McManus, uh, Mosaic Church out in Hollywood, California. And he said in the sermon, he said, God wishes to kill your ego, not your ambition. You know, vulnerability and transparency, I think both of those, have become a very like buzzword type topic, especially on social media, um, almost to the extreme. What I've what I've found over the last couple of years doing all this crazy stuff on social media is that I saw that gap and I saw the lack of vulnerability and transparency. And so I became vulnerable and transparent, but in the beginning it was as like a tactic. Like it was just like a tool. Like I knew I needed to stand out and in order to make an impact, I needed to be transparent. And so it was more like just like using this tool of vulnerability rather than being like truly, truly vulnerable. And so I kept struggling, going back and forth with, why on earth do you want to run these 13.1 miles in less than two hours? And I was like, cause it's a goal and I gotta have goals and I gotta have something to go after. And as soon as I do it and I, and I hit one hour and 59 minutes, I'm gonna feel incredible. But then part of me said, oh, but, but you're, gonna, you're gonna screenshot that, right? Like you're gonna screenshot your Map My Run app and you're gonna post that to your Instagram story, right? And so are you doing it for you? Are you doing it because you're competing with yourself? Or is it your ego that you wanna show other people that you went out and did something great today, that you did something that you've never done today? Is it really for you or is it for the appearance? Are you seeking to be known or are you seeking to be worth knowing? Are you seeking to be great or are you seeking the appearance of great? When in reality on the inside, there's nothing much good at all. And even even going into like the hundredth episode of the of the daily uh, vlog that we were doing, we wanted to do something like crazy for the hundredth episode, like bring on a big guest or do something cool, exciting. And we decided to you know do this very simple episode of me just sitting in front of the camera and it said alcoholic across it. And I talked about the fact that over these hundred episodes that I had been talking about all these different things and doing all this different stuff and they never even discussed the fact that 20 days prior to starting the vlog I quit drinking and that it had been since December of last year and had that sip of alcohol and even in that moment I remember uh, Sean Whalen um, you guys know he um, he messaged me after after we released that episode he was just like so what do you think about the uh, about the 100th episode I was like man it felt great like it felt good put that out there He's like, yeah. He's like, I think you folded. it. And I was like, I got offended like, at first. And honestly, I didn't really truly understand what he meant by that until like going through this first chapter of the book and understanding that I was still using it as a tool. Like I was still using vulnerability as just a way to get a message out and hopefully get it out better to reach more people. But it, I think that was the transition from, and we talk about a lot with the first time task force, like the transition from going to my head and my heart and truly being transparent and vulnerable just for the sake of not as a tool, but as a way to give other people the audacity to do the same. Because there was, there was something big recently that I shared and, and I told my wife and I hadn't told my wife about it. Um, when I told her about it, she's like, ah, you really don't need to be super public about that. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And um, she's like, well, yeah, but what is this person going to say? What is this person going to say? I was like, I, that's not really of any consequence to me. Like, it doesn't bother me. And I think it's, a, it's an interesting concept of ego with vulnerability because that's really what it comes down to and, and what we've been talking about a lot is the fact that those that have the least ego those that have dropped their ego the most yep. often appear to have the biggest ego right because they don't care what other people think 